Hey everybody, it's Dr. Nicole with Healing Hands, and I'm sitting here today with Ashley. She is one of our patients. Hello. Say hi, Ashley. Hi, Ash. <laughs> so, um, Ashley actually came to our office initially because she was pregnant, and she was having some difficulty with um, pregnancy and sciatic and walking and mobilization and things like that. And that's why you initially found us, right? Yes. But what we wanted to share in this video is through the course of her care at, and continued care, Ashley had a huge reveal on how chiropractic could impact your life, not just with aches and pains and mobilization, that's certainly part of it, but there was a much bigger part for you. Yes. And where we really need to start this story or this journey is actually way before you ever came to me, way before you had children. Yes. And um, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your story and where what your life was like. Okay, so I was a six-year addict. Um, I was heroin, cocaine. I ended up doing anything. I shared needles. I didn't share them. I did drugs every day. Um, I stopped about four years ago, a little bit over four years ago, four years clean. I found out when I was pregnant with my first, she's three years old, that I had hepatitis C. Um, after finding that out, I kind of drug out the treatment plans, not being able to afford it. Eventually I had my second and sought, seeked care for the hep C. When I went in for all the blood work and everything, it turned out that I didn't have hep C anymore. I didn't need the treatment. Um, the only major thing I can truly say that changed anything of how can hep C disappear in four years is that the only thing different I've done is come here. So I truly believe that the Dr. Nicole helped me get rid of the hep C and I'm completely healthy, don't need to go through the 16 week treatment. Um, the doctor told me it was very rare and she's only seen, never seen this before in her practice, but it does happen. So that is fascinating. So let's back up a minute because that's yes. a whole lot of story. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. So initially you came to my office because you were pregnant. You were really, you initially came because you thought chiropractic helped people with uh, pregnancy and sciatic pain, right? Yeah. Okay. And you had under care because we found something called subluxations, a condition called subluxations in her spine. And and you, you, you went through your care and then after a while you decided, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on track with my medical treatment for hep C. And when you when you when you went to the medical doctor to get back on track with that treatment, she said it you, you had the antibodies but there was yes. no more inflammation. There was no trace of the hep C besides the antibodies, which will be with me forever, but I don't yeah. have the virus. But you don't have the virus. Yes. Like your body, okay. It's gone. So <laughs> this is really fascinating. So let's, let me take a step back and explain to you guys. Did you know that things like this actually happen in chiropractic offices all the time? Did you know that? I didn't. When I first came here, I honestly thought it was like, oh, quick adjustment and send you home and I'll feel better. But completely different. It's totally different, it's right? totally different. All right, so most people think that chiropractic is a treatment for neck and back pain. And the truth is, is that chiropractic really has nothing to do with neck and back pain, except for the fact that when you start realigning your spine, a side effect of chiropractic is typically neck and back pain go away. That's a side effect. The primary effect of chiropractic is like this. It works like this. Um, and I, I laugh when I chuckled when Ashley said, well, I went to Dr. Nicole and she got rid of my hep C and it doesn't work like that either. <laughs> so that's why I was chuckling. But the way that it does work is like this. Your body has the potential to do two things. If you remember this from the workshop, yes. your body has the possibility or the potential to number one, regulate itself. Meaning like when you wake up in the morning and you have breakfast, um, and your blood sugars go up, your body knows exactly how much insulin to produce in order to bring the, sh blood, the sugar from the blood into the cells so that your cells can use the um, sugar for energy. And, and your body has, you know, your body's regulating things all the time. It's probably doing a trillion different regulations at one, at one time as we're sitting here right now as you guys are watching this video. So your body self-regulates. And the second thing
thing the body has the ability to do is also self heal. So people heal all the time and they just take it for granted. Like, like if you break a bone, you know, you just kind of expect that you're going to get it casted to hold it in place, but you just kind of expect that in like six to 12 weeks, that bone is going to regrow back together. Right. But if you really think about that process, like that's a pretty significant process that goes on inside your body. Like your body has the ability to heal bone. Like that's pretty fantastic. So the way that your body regulates itself and the way that your body heals itself is through the, the, the nervous system. So the brain is the organ in your body that controls, it controls all the other healing and it controls all the other regulation, actually. And it does that by sending information. So the brain sends information down the spinal cord through the spine and then that information exits the spine and goes to every single cell in a person's body. And, and that's how your body heals when it becomes damaged or regulates, um, or, re or regulates on a day-to-day -day basis. So one of the things that we are working on actually in is, is we, are, we, we as chiropractors correct conditions called subluxations. And basically a subluxation, if you remember, I don't know if you remember what a subluxation. You had 14? Okay. <laughs> um, subluxations are misalignments in the spinal column that cause stress and irritation to the nervous system. And the misalignments are usually caused by stress and trauma that we all have, even from when we're little kids, like falling off our bicycle and those bones that shift out of place. When the spine goes out of alignment or when we have a subluxation, do you remember, do you remember what it does to the energy in your nervous system? It blocks it. It blocks it. It turns it down like a dimmer switch. So if you dim a switch on a wall, it decreases the energy traveling through the electrical wire and then the light at the end of the wire dims, right? So your body kind of works the same way. If, there, if you have a bunch of energy that's being blocked to the cells in your body, they lose the ability to do those two things. They lose their ability to heal themselves when, they're, when it's sick and it loses their ability to regulate themselves when they're supposed to be regulated. So that's how that happened. So I did not heal her or cure her. Her body did it. We just gave her body a better um, environment. And we took away the interference between her brain and the rest of her body so that her body was able to do the job that it's intended to do. That's a lot of words, isn't that not? Yes. Words? <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Of course, this is, a, this is a really fascinating topic. We see things like this. We see people heal from um, all kinds of diseases, not only in our offices, but all chiropractors do. And it's stuff that I wanted to bring it to you on video and through social media because it's not stuff you're ever going to hear on mainstream media. It's just, you know, we just live in a world that's really run by pharmaceuticals and and um, you're just not going to hear this this stuff. So, of course, because I know this is like a really new concept to most of you, of you guys out there, of course, if you ever have any questions, um, always ask. Show us some love. Show Ashley some love. Leave some comments um, in the comment section below. Give us some hearts. Give us some likes. Give us some thumbs up. And, of course, if you ever have any questions, always reach out.